Fairfax News Storm Team. Well, it sure looks like a beautiful afternoon in Williston. Uh, maybe a few clouds in the sky, 77 degrees, but uh, pretty nice weather. There was some rain and actually some pretty substantial rain in places today. Now, this graphic right here is just rain totals that were on the chat room from the National Weather Service. And so Crosby, at least on this, the big winner, uh, if you want to call it that, at 2.09 inches. Hedinger, Freiburg, Granora, Mott, uh, very substantial rain. Now, Minot here at KXMC got 1.16. Other areas in town got a little bit less, others got more. And so what I'm going to do is show you a radar estimator rainfall. And considering there was very little hail in these uh, showers and storms today, or storms today, uh, it's going to be a little more accurate than a storm that has a lot of hail. So you can see the pattern where the heavier rain fell. There was actually a flood advisory for the city of Minot for a while this afternoon because it was really coming down. And if we look at our radar estimates for rainfall, look up here in Divide County at uh, 3.5 inches. Now that's not everywhere in Divide County, but a little bit, of, that's quite a bit of rain. Northwest of Kenmare, two inches. Just north of Stanley, over an inch, 1.3. Uh, now where we scanned the storm, the rain here in Minot, uh, it's just south of uh, Highway 52, and it came in at 1.8. And let's see, McCody, right near McCody at 2.6. So that is a lot of rain. And as we move further south, Bismarck itself didn't get a lot of rain, but you didn't have to go far. I mean, look at that, 2.3 inches, 2.4 just to the southwest of Flasher. Uh, north of the uh, South Dakota border there, uh, two, almost two and a half inches southwest of Hebron, 1.3. So it might have been, you know, a little scattered from place to place with the heavy rain. The places that got a good downpour got some substantial rain. So now we're looking at Bismarck and some raindrops on the camera there. And uh, temperature at 5 o'clock, 73 degrees. The wind's out of the uh, northeast at 22 miles an hour in Minot. A lot of fog on the camera lens there, 69 east-northeast wind is at at eight. So here are a few other temperatures across western North Dakota, 60s and 70s, which is cooler than what we had yesterday. And uh, the dew points remain in the 60s and some upper 60s. That's still plenty of fuel should thunderstorms develop. And uh, the reason I bring it up is we could have some severe weather tonight. Uh, I'm not expecting a lot of it, but it is certainly possible. So here's that radar again. And if you look down here to the, this is an area that'd be a little more concerning because something's going on in the south central around Bismarck, maybe a few showers and storms here. So this would be the first area that we would watch potentially for some thunderstorm growth. And uh, looking at the next 72 hours for Dickinson, it's going to get hot on Saturday, humid too. And we might even have some severe weather on Saturday. On, for Williston, uh, Saturday will be the hottest day as well. I want to show you this. This is the area that we have the threat for severe weather today. It's an isolated risk. That means not a lot of severe weather, but possible. But look at Saturday. I think this is the first time I've seen the entire state uh, covered in yellow on one of these maps here. So that would tell us that we have a you know, decent chance of some severe weather on Saturday. Tonight, 50s to around 60 degrees. And then tomorrow, we're going to be warming up once again back into the 80s. Here's a look at the Bismarck seven day. And uh, you know, I know people are starting to get a little tired of the rain. So look at next week. Nicholas, isn't this nice? Once we get through the weekend, next week, we just might be storm free. Wouldn't that be nice? It sure would. Tom, thanks very much. Next on our five at five,